Come on in. Good morning, everyone, and welcome to Trans West Truck Trailer RV. My name is Katie O'Neill, and I am so excited to be with you today. I am about to show you a fantastic vehicle. This is a 2022 Renegade Rona LE. Um, again, my name is Katie O'Neill. I'm at 303-562-8651. Again, 303-562-8659. Uh, so today's video is so excited. We're going to be looking at uh, Verona LE. We do a lot of Verona videos. Uh, rarely do we get the chance to show you such a really nice upgraded version. So we'll cover a lot of the differences today that you get for about that $41,000 Delta. So Cherish, if you wouldn't mind, let's start as usual. Take her on back. We're going to start in the rear bathroom. Uh, so this model is an LRB versus a VRB. Um, they are both 40-foot models. They're both uh, M2106 chassis, uh, on, uh, so Freightliner chassis, uh, and they are both 40 feet, 2 inches long, but this RV is an LRB because it's on the LE. So you'll notice in our bathroom we have a really, really nice solid wood finish throughout the uh, interior here. We have lots and lots of cabinet space up here. Uh, the spice brandy finish is absolutely beautiful. Lots of room for your toilet paper here and even your chemicals for your toilet. Huge, huge storage capacity up here. Um, really, really luxurious amount of room. And these, uh, these doors are just so sturdy. Um, this entire coach is actually just really, really sturdy. Uh, but then also another very big medicine cabinet. And I love their really nice vanity lights. You know, all the finishes in here are just uh, superb. Uh, you'll note that we also have our uh, fan up top, our fantastic fan. Uh, we've got a single basin undermount sink. And then again, more storage down here. Another huge shelving area. And also more storage again here underneath the sink. And there's your toilet paper dispenser. Um, so this is a 35 inch radius shower. I really like the function of this magnetic seal. So if you are in the shower and it's cold out, you can keep all that warm air in. And you'll also notice that we have this fantastic skylight above us. So lots of overhead room. Uh, your uh, shower head is on an adjustable slide with a soap dish. Uh, this RV is winterized, so we don't have it hooked up right now. And that's just to remind us that we don't, uh, we haven't taken out the antifreeze yet. Um, but all that being said, super, super cool. And then if your husband's misbehaving, you can put him in here and you just lock this and he can't get out. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Uh, <laughs> anyhow, so um, one of the things that's really nice about this bedroom here is that you have these really great wardrobes. And one of the things I really like about Renegade's construction is they make this removable shelf. So there's a little loop here. I can pull this out. So if I had something longer, maybe I've got bibs for snow snowmobiling, maybe I've got uh, something that I might be using for motocross, I can hang those longer uh, um, garments here in this closet, or I have two separate closets, however I'd like to use that. And one of the things I mentioned to Cherish earlier today is we're going to do quite a bit of measuring today. So I've got my measuring tape handy. If you're curious as to how wide these are, they're just about uh, 21 inches across. So maybe a little bit more storage in, in between there, but lots and lots of room. And you have three of these. You also have a really neat, uh, nice drawer here. This is a great place to keep any kind of reading materials, maybe your hiking boots. And then two huge storage drawers down here. These are just enormous. And if we're looking for measurements again, there's just not a lot of videos out there on this coach, so I want to make sure I cover that. That's 31 inches in terms of width, and then in terms of depth, we've got about 14 and a half inches for those drawers. So those are really big drawers. Um, and then also four more drawers here. These are a little bit smaller um, in width. They're about 12 inches, and then in terms of depth, they're also about 14 and a half, 15 inches deep or sorry, uh, deep. And then I guess the depth of the door is about six and a half inches. And again, there's four of those there. So super nice. Uh, you'll notice that we do have Samsung appliances throughout this coach. Um, also, we've got our MCD day and night shades, as well as an emergency exit here. And then just a really nice dresser stand. Um, another feature that you'll find in the LE that's different than what you'll see in the Verona is that we do have a ceiling fan. So for those of you who like to have a little fresh air blowing on you at night, that's a really nice offering. 
and both coaches we have two USB ports and one tent outlets next to the bed on the nightstand. Uh, of course, this is a fantastically uh, beautiful and decadent bedroom. I love the Ellie does just a little bit of an upgraded bedspread and pillow sham set. You still get this fantastic amount of room above your sleeping area. And then also you'll have controls of the coach uh, in terms of being able to turn your lights on and off uh, right here, as well as your fan. But keep in mind, you'll also have those available to you on your Firefly app, and we'll cover that today. Uh, again, MCD day and night shades on opposing sides of your uh, you know, quilted headboard uh, with uh, screens that open and close so you can get um, nice, fresh cross ventilation in this bedroom. Um, now, please note here underneath, you'll see we have this, which is another differentiation. So when you spend a little extra money, you do get a whole uh, house vacuum system and also this beautiful porcelain tile floor. So you can see uh, just a little bit of an upgrade there in terms of the flooring. And I wanted to show you under this bed because we always look underneath the LE bed or underneath the Verona bed and there's storage there. But this is where you have your 150 gallons of fresh water and there's no additional storage underneath like you might find in like the v, uh, VBH. So just keep in mind, you don't have that under bed storage, but plenty of room here. And then here in our hallway, really conveniently located because you have access to this while you're on the road. So you have access to your washer and dryer while in motion. Um, you can run your generator. We do all of our laundry uh, while we're on the road. I can't tell you, um, a lot of people say, oh, does it use a lot of water? Does it use a lot of power? We've never had any issues. Uh, we would do all of our laundry on any of our road trips uh, in our VBH. Um, and it was just so nice not to have to get there and work on getting ready for your camping trip. You're already ready to lock and load, get out there, go hiking, fishing, whatever it might be. Now, as I mentioned earlier, this is going to be a bath and a half model, but it's really nice that you have these great, really solid pocket doors. Uh, so you have that separation of space. So if you do have company, your entrance is right here, and then you've got this mid bath right here as well. So for those of you that might have an early riser in the family that wants to get up and make coffee, Great location, so much storage here for maybe a hair dryer, flat iron, all your makeup. And then again, more storage up here as well. And then another one of these really nice solid pocket doors, another, another towel rack, and then another porcelain toilet here as well with more storage here underneath. So really, really nice roomy mid bath. And then keep in mind, we also have another fantastic fan. So there's fan there for whomever's using that front bathroom. And then I love this. This little storage cubby is just so convenient. If you wanted to keep suntan lotion, uh, bug spray, maybe the dog's leashes, uh, water dishes, whatever it might be, just to keep everything ready. Super, super nice uh, there. And, you know, plenty of extra storage for when you're just, you know, maybe hopping in and out and you want to grab stuff while you're on the side of the road. Now this is going to be one of my favorite aspects of this RV. So you do not need to have the optional fireplace. This coach has a lot of light, like a lot of really nice uh, extra options. The fireplace being one of them. Please note, I was looking earlier, where are the glass rocks? We have not put the glass rocks in the fireplace yet, but we do have the glass rocks. It looks so cool. It's got a remote to operate it. It blows out lots of nice heat, so if you want something that's going to provide a nice ambiance in your, uh, in your uh, galley and also give off some nice heat for camping, absolutely right there. Um, you'll notice here we have our Blu-ray player right above our sound bar. This sound bar is a Wi-Fi uh, sound bar, so you can stream your own music there or you can use it to play the television. Uh, there's also a subwoofer in this coach. And I wanted to pull this TV off just to show you a few things I think are so cool. So take a look at that. There's all of this cool storage behind here. You can keep all of your movies. I don't know, you could stash stuff, put your guns in there. Um, and then there's another side over here and I'll open this door, Cherish, and step out of your way just so you can show. So that cabinet goes the whole way behind the television. So no waste of space there. And then of course, as you can see, the way we've got this pivoted, you could really bring it out to show the entire household. So if you did have your chairs turned around and you were using uh, your uh, driver's seats as recliners, you could also watch TV from up there as well. So two more really nice big storage drawers. 
Um, great space here for anything. I would have napkins, placemats. Again, 13 inches by about 13 inches. So that's the width of those. And then take a look at this galley. Look how much kitchen counter space you have. I mean, if you are one that likes to entertain, you want to put out your chips and your dip, your guacamole, um, any of your, you know, sandwich trays, whatever it might be. You've got so much room here. This space is actually 51 inches long. So, so much additional counter space in this, um, in this LRB model. Uh, now here in our undermount sink, you'll notice it's a single basin deep undermount sink. I wanted to show you um, the Vega Touch Mira. So this Firefly app is what you'll download on your phone and it's really quite amazing. So you can actually operate all of your slides. You can operate all of your um, awnings. You can operate your generator. You can turn your lights on and off. I mean, really, really cool. So if you pull up late at night and maybe your significant other is just going to bed or already asleep and you need to know whether or not you can put your slide out without hitting a tree, you can literally use this application to open that slide while you are actually, um, while you're putting it out. So I'll just show you what that looks like. So this app, oh, there it goes, looks just like this. Oh, attempting connection, of course. And as you can see here, just in the background, there we go. So I have all of my fresh gray and black water readings, my temperature. I also have the ability to go here. I can go into my uh, slides and awnings. I can control all of those awnings, all of those slides here. So super nice. I can also turn all my lights on and off. Um, I can control all of my leveling systems, all from my phone. And the other thing that I have that's really nice about this application is I have, I have access to all of my power. So one of the things that's nice is I can start my generator right here, but I also get to know what kind of load I've got coming in in my, um, in my coach. And this RV has uh, the extra battery pack. So there's a premium lithium ion battery pack that you can purchase with the LE. Uh, that premium uh, lithium ion battery pack is going to give you 260 amp hours per battery. So that's a total, and I did the math earlier, 780 amp hours uh, of total battery power. So that coupled with your three 175 watt solar panels, you know, those, those panels are really just trying to put power in a place and store it. So those, those lithium ion batteries that are, you know, so significantly large, three of them, that gives you so much extra storage. So, um, in our, in our Verona, our 36 VSB, we only had 300 amp hours of battery life. We had three batteries, but they were regular AGMs. We had the three solar panels installed on top of our coach. And really, we could go all night with our refrigerator running, charging all of our devices. And um, at night, we would typically go ahead and start that generator up just to make sure that our batteries were full to get us through to the evening when the sun came up the next day, of course, and started charging our batteries again with our solar panels. In this situation, you would not have to do that. So really, really nice if you're interested in getting out there and boondocking. Uh, we spent tons of time out in the desert. Really, really great. You can get away. You've got 75 gallons of gray water, 75 gallons of black water, 150 gallons of fresh water, 100 gallons of diesel to power your hydronic system. So on those cold nights, you've got hydronic heat coupled with three solar panels at 175 watts each and those three lithium ion batteries at 260 amp hours each. It's just so much capability for getting off the grid. So this is a really great coach for people who want to boondock. Um, now that being said, let's finish looking at our kitchen. First and foremost, as we all know, storage is always a premium. Look at that. What a great place to be able to keep things up above. You can keep all your spices. And then you also have a ton of space under here along with your subwoofer but plenty of room to have a full residential size trash can. Um, always on the, the left hand side or right hand side under our bathroom or under our kitchen sink, you'll find customer service and support numbers. Um, I like to show that if you're ever watching one of my videos and you go, oh, I need that number, just pause. Go ahead, screenshot it, put it in your phone. Great idea. Okay, as I mentioned, we've got a lot of Samsung throughout this coach. Uh, the high point that you get in the, in the VBH is nice or the VRB. Uh, the LRB comes with a Samsung, so a little bit higher end microwave and convection oven. Really, really big. Um, lots of storage there. 
uh, really, you know, just attractive, very, very nice residential style uh, microwave and convection oven. And then we have lots and lots of drawer space. So take a look at how much room you have here. It's just crazy. So let's go ahead and measure this. This is so much drawer space. I don't even know what you'd put in here. Uh, so that's almost uh, 23 inches in terms of depth and about 15, almost 16 inches in terms of width. And then height, again, I think we're gonna find those are all about five and a half, six inches deep. So super, super cool. Um, you've got three of them. As you'll notice, they're all soft clothes. And these are a little more shallow. So I'll go ahead and measure those. Those are about four and a half inches uh, deep. And then take a look at this. Tons of room here for all of your pots and pans. Now above that, of course, you know that we have this true induction cooktop. One of the nicest things about this, from a safety perspective, you can literally put a paper towel down on top of this stove, put your pot on top of it and boil water. It's not gonna catch on fire. So this is an all electric coach, no propane on board. And what that means for you though, is if you've got littles that wanna help out, maybe make some scrambled eggs for breakfast, they can do that without you worrying about them burning your RV down. Wow, that's a pretty cool feature. Now I know I've mentioned again, all electric. What that means is you can use uh, your 50 amp plug-in and run your AquaHot system. Uh, the difference between the Verona and the Verona LE in terms of the AquaHot system, you go from a 250D to the 450D. So just a little more capable, a little more powerful. Uh, both of these systems will run a tube of antifreeze underneath the coach and that gets really hot just like your tankless hot water heater would heat your hot water immediately and get that really hot like so hot that you can't turn it on to high even i mean these tankless hot water heaters are awesome but when it heats that hydronic fluid that goes underneath your coach it blows air over the top of it so you don't have in-floor radiant heating in this coach what you have is you have a tube that goes around and that is what's heating the that's what's heating this coach and that's going to be the same on any of the verona models they're all going to come after 2021 they all come pretty much standard with the uh, hydronic system and an all electric package super super cool technology um, but like i said this true induction is just one of the features that makes it so nice in here in terms of utilizing this with the family one of the other features that's really nice about this rv take a look at all of this pantry space this is so much storage now these shelves are not adjustable but they are really really deep they're 23 inches long and then the tallest shelf is about 15 inches this one's going to be about 17 and then here on the top you've got about 13 inches and about uh, I'd give that one 10. So lots and lots of different shelving heights. Um, for me, I think that this would be just a great place to keep all of my cooking utensils, all of my staples. We actually do quite a bit of um, you know, cooking in our RV when we're on the road. A lot of the stuff that we'll do here, um, we will use this uh, true induction, get all of our vegetables and everything prepped and then go outside of course and grill around the campfire. Um, that being said, take a look at this huge, huge the samsung refrigerator um, really nice really simple really straightforward tons of shelving space lots of room for milk for beverages big big cooler areas down below and then also as you'll note uh, after 2021 we did away with our handles kind of nice when you're in motion not to worry about bumping into anything oh and cherish let's show them this lock so as you can see this is red which is, means it's locked and this is blue, which means it's open. So super cool, like nothing really over the top fancy. You do have an ice maker. Um, I would highly recommend letting us get rid of the um, green ice cubes for you before you take, take her out camping. Um, and on that note, winterizing your coach is something that um, we can, we have lots of people here that live here in Colorado that will use this coach full time. You don't need to winterize your coach when you're camping in it. You can actually take this out because of that hydronic heating system. It will keep your uh, tankless or your water, your water supply and your gray and black water um, defrosted for you while in use. You would only have to winterize your coach when you're not in use. Um, so that's an important feature to know that this is very much an all season coach wherever you can get it. I have some couple, I have a couple, I'm sorry that just took the delivery of their 36 BSB because they're huge snowmobilers and they wanted something that was a little more weather resistant and this definitely checks those boxes. Now today we wanted to do something we haven't done in the past. 
Um, in the Verona, you'll have a bunk over cab option. In the LE, you don't have that. But we never show you what this looks like close. So this is the curtain system that comes. Um, it's really nice. It's just along tracks. You don't have to snap it into place, no Velcro. It just slides in along the tracks. And then you still have all of this big, big um, storage up front. And here is where we would normally have had this in the kitchen in the Verona model. In the LE, we put all of your circuit breakers up front and then the top. So giving you a little more kitchen space, but still like tons of room up here. Uh, Equalizer also has an app that you can download. And as I mentioned, you can, you can operate this on your Firefly system. Uh, so great hydraulic leveling jack. And then again, all of your panels up here and more storage, keeping your sunglasses, your wallet, all of those things, maybe your cell phone. Uh, so great, great availability up there as well. Um, I love the seating configuration here. I love the color of this um, of this furniture. So when we um, when we put these together, Riverstone is one of the nicest, I think, color combinations that we offer. Just in that it's dark, so you don't have to worry about the wear. Um, now all of the interiors are synthetic, so it's not like you're really stuck with wear anyway, um, because everything cleans up so easily. But it is just nice to know that you don't have to worry about it. And then look at how much room is underneath in that storage. Um, I thought that that was really amazing. Um, this table does have uh, two seat belts that are forward facing, as you can see. And it is, it is a sleeper, so it does drop down. Um, you switch, flip the switch here, and it goes all the way down. You put these cushions in the middle. Got a nice place for everybody to sleep. If you're curious as to how wide this is, um, this is definitely not for tall adults. Um, anyone under about five feet is going to be pretty comfortable, so that's about 60 inches. And then in terms of the depth, let's go ahead and measure that for you. You're going to be good all the way out to about 41 inches there. Uh, please do note that we have, again, really nice USB ports and 110 outlets. If you wanted to use this for under, um, under storage for keeping all of your laptops and iPads, that's what we used it for when we were on our road trips. Oh, sure. Go ahead. Uh, this coach currently, uh, there was a deposit placed on it this morning, but we have others coming in. Uh, so I would highly recommend uh, reaching out. Uh, we are rapidly uh, running out of 2022 models, uh, but we do have a few inbound models left. Um, I have one available that has theater seating. Uh, so if you're interested in getting the details on that, let me know. I'd be happy to send it over to you. Um, and then I don't know if I have anything else that's close um, in the couch format. Uh, but I would be happy to look. Worst case scenario, you might be looking at maybe an April or May delivery if this coach actually sells. Uh, please keep in mind, we have about a 40% attrition rate. So people will come out, maybe look at the RV, decide it's not for them. Sometimes financing is an issue, trade in values, whatever it is. Um, so I would be happy to take a backup deposit on this RV so that if it became available, you would be the first person in line and you would have first right of refusal. So that's something we do a lot here. Um, I had a backup deposit that was placed yesterday that got their coach. So, you know, if you're, if you're interested in this, please reach out. Let's get the pricing hashed out and make sure it's all a good fit. And then let's get you on uh, this coach for a backup deposit at least. And then look at also a plan B just to make sure we get you what you need. Okay, so look at this bed. This is so comfortable. Oh, and by the way, thank you for tuning in and thanks for asking questions. Please feel free to ask whatever other questions come to your mind. Um, Okay, so back to the bed. Really, really nice. If you have company, maybe you've got uh, your son and daughter camping with you with their kids. This is a great coach. Cherish is standing in the middle of a very gigantic amount of space. So Cherish could actually put a full queen size inflatable mattress there if you wanted to have littles. Uh, that, could be a bed. that could be a bed. That is Okay, so by the way, this is one of my favorite things. I love not having to stack my cushions off the couch when I'm making the bed. Super, super favorite thing. Um, but anyway, this is a great, uh, great high to bed. Super nice. Um, again, three more seat belts underneath here. So you've got two facing forward in the booth, three here. So that's gonna give you a total of seven seat belts in this coach. This is a great RV to get out in the world, out in the world camping with your family. Of course, Renegade builds a fantastic RV. Uh, so versatile, so comfortable, so, use it, so usable. 
Um, but one of the things I think that's so nice about these LED models is I love this like little extra shelf place where you could put like your you know decorations and your plants because a lot of us when we get to our campsites we kind of move in you know we pull all of our little things out of our knickknacks and we make it look like home and then take a look at all of this cabinet space so although this is divided in half it is just so incredible that you have so much cabinet space so in our uh, Verona what we would do is actually just label all of our little cubbies alphabetically and um oh i don't know if i'm going to be able to do this you got it look at that aficionado all day long yeah so this is correct so it's just over uh, 12 feet of cabinet space um so so much cabinet space yeah but we would put like those little shoe boxes you get from costco with our label maker and we would put those in here along with all of our board games so in terms of depth this is 17 inches deep so 12 feet long 17 inches deep eight total drawers or doors um so so much space such a versatile rv um so again this is the verona le there are four floor plans available in this model and all of them are going to be equipped very similarly the options that we have are going to be things like the mud flap the power cord reel um the batteries that I mentioned, uh, but there's, there's just so much offered in this. So I hope that if you're excited about it, you'll reach out. I'd be happy to send you an order guide so you could check off all the boxes for the one that you want. Again, that fireplace is optional as well. Um, and you could have theater seating. So that's another feature that we could talk about. Um, and I don't know if you've noticed this throughout this coach, but one of the things that the LED gives you is this beautiful backlighting. And this is just a really, really nice warm glow. And you even have it underneath the fireplace. You can kind of see where the where this lighting is, the courtesy lights, and that's just great for nighttime lighting so you can kind of see where you're at when you're out camping because we all know how dark it can be in those campsites, which is of course what we're looking for. Okay, so I love this feature. Just kind of showing you how you can black out all of these windows today. So nice that you have your screen, but it is covered. And then here, you've also got a really, really nice setup where you have a nice cover where you can actually slide things in and out um and keep this closed or have it open so if you want to hand someone a beer just goes right there uh cherish go ahead and come on out and on your way down if you can keep an eye on those steps there's a few things about the steps to note so first and foremost you can see the verona le just kind of backlit right here the other thing that's really cool though is this is a great place for your slippers and flip-flops so we always use that. It's just great storage for shoes. Your battery disconnect is right here. And then your, uh, your fire extinguisher is right here as well. So everything right there. And then on the LE model, you do have the keypad, which is something that a lot of people really like. I actually have a client buying a Verona and he wants me to add the keypad. So I've got to work on that today for him. I said, as soon as I get done with my video, I'll do my best. I don't know if I can add it. Uh, for those of you that are curious, we can, I'll have an answer for you in just an hour or two. Okay, so let's go ahead and get these slides in. So as you can see here, this is such a cool feature. Uh, really nice. All I'm doing is holding this button down. It's bringing my slides in. I love the way that this full body paint is color matched the whole way through, so the slides match. Uh, the exterior of the coach, that line goes the whole way through. This is the anthracite exterior. So really, really beautiful. Um, that $41,000 also buys you a little bit bigger exterior TV if that's important to you. So I'll show that to you right here. Um, we don't watch a lot of TV outside, but this is a nice thing to have. More importantly for me, we use a soundbar all the time. Absolutely fantastic. And then here underneath, I wanted to go ahead and kind of measure some storage for you. So here in your first bay is gonna be your Aquahot 450D. Uh, one thing that's really nice to note about these doors, I love the dual latch system. So these are really sturdy. Uh, when they're closed, they are closed. No question about it. And then look at the storage you have underneath here. So I'm gonna go ahead and measure this for you. One thing to note, it's really nice that it's carpet lined. You're not gonna get those rattles and it's all sealed. 
So we're going to go ahead and look at 27 inches uh, in terms of depth there. And then we're also going to be looking at 41 feet or I'm sorry, 41 inches across. And then you'll note that we all have LED puck lights in all of these cabinets above as well. So we have LED lights underneath. So you can see what you're doing if you get there late at night. Look at the size of this one. Holy macaroni. Now, something that I've been asked multiple times is how deep is this door? So I'm actually gonna measure the length of the door. The door is just under 59 inches long. So if you're curious as to how far out you would need to have for clearance, that's the total clearance. And then the depth here is gonna be just over 39 inches. And the width is gonna be just about 59 inches as well. I guess that would make sense. And then please do note that there is a grounded GFI outlet underneath here with two one outlets. It's right there. And there's also a cover that you can remove. So if you wanted to put your blender in there, for instance, and be ready for that margarita party, you've got everything accessible and you can keep your door closed. Um, okay, so I already mentioned that this is gonna be a mid door entry. But one of the things that's super cool about Super C's is you can get in the front as well. So for those of you that aren't familiar with this product, this is a 360 horsepower engine. It's the ISL, uh, not to be confused with the 6.7 liter ISB. Uh, the ISL this year has 360 horsepower as well. The differentiating factor of it is torque. So in the ISB, we have an 800 foot pound uh, rating in terms of torque, uh, we've got a 10,000 pound towing capacity. In the ISL, we have an 8.9 liter Cummins engine on the Freightliner chassis with 1,150 foot pounds of torque in a 20,000 pound towing capacity. So big towing capacity. Uh, it's a dual fill tank. So these are saddle tanks. You can actually fill both of these at the same time. That's going to be the most efficient way to fill this tank. You would come into a truck stop, put your tank into one, put your, your filling station to the other, and you can fill your def and do your gas all at once. It takes about 25 minutes all in, including going in and getting a big gulp. So speaking from experience, um, I like these steps. They're nice and low, not too hard to get in. Pretty cool. I love these wheels. These American racing wheels are spectacular. They're a huge, huge uh, upgrade for Renegade, really kind of changed the face of this brand. We were already the most BA brand out there in terms of Super C's. This just goes to like put the exclamation point on it. Along with our Caliber 9 grill, this, this coach also has that package as well. We'll take a look at that in a minute. But this is just a beautiful, beautiful wheel. These are 295-75 R22 and a half. So big Bridgestones, get you down the road. So, uh, we do have an air chalk, so you can fill those if you need to at your campsite. Make sure you're road ready. Uh, there's the hose for it. Another huge, huge storage bay. I want to say this one might even be deeper, but you know how you find out? You use your measuring tape. So this one is uh, just at 60 inches, so only one inch. But wow, what a great amount of space. Um, also, again, this door is 52 and a half inches uh, long, so a little bit shorter, and that will give us a 51 and a half inch uh, opening here when you count the seal. Uh, the slide locks, of course, are also in here. And then here in the back, you'll see these are our, all of our connections are for both our inner vac system. So we can use our vacuum cleaner outside as well as inside. And we have our hoses here for outside as well as inside, along with some additional uh, tiles. So that porcelain tile, we do give you some extras just in case you drop something on it while you're camping. I wanted to talk about this fiber, fiberglass end cap. So tubular steel construction is one of the things that really makes Renegade super sturdy. But you know, we all bump into stuff from time to time. It's really nice that these are not connected. So if you need to replace one end cap, as opposed to the whole thing, you're gonna spend a lot less money. Um, I know that we uh, took out a few corners every once in a while. So uh, speaking from experience, that's a bonus. Uh, here is your rear view camera, as you can see. And then we have a really nice sturdy once again, this is a 20,000 pound tow hitch. We've got our seven pin connector. We've got our Voyager uh, plug in if you want to plug in an additional camera. Uh, this is reversible. Uh, it's just a really, really awesome uh, RV. We also provide you with a two inch downsizer. So if you want to put something a little bit smaller on there, you can. Whoa, look at the door fairy must have come. 
all of our doors are open. So this is a 36 foot power reel. Um, this power cord reel is 36 feet, not 50. Um, but it's nice because it's in the rear of the coach. So it's going to be really close to um, your plugins typically at most of the campsites. Um, I have a 50, in, a 50 foot reel on my new uh, Superstar. And for the record, if you were comparing the Superstar uh, to a Renegade, this is the Renegade that would be most comparable to a Superstar. So for those of you that haven't seen my videos, I've got quite a few videos on both. Oh goodness here, you little booger. Oh. Okay, nothing like a girl that can use an RV, huh? Yeah, so I, I am wrestling an anaconda, that is right. Uh, so here you have your, uh, your surge protector, and then there's also uh, an adapter here if you need to get down to 30 amp that comes for you, and you can run that cord through again. They've got these nice little twist offs so that you can go ahead and put that in there. Again, you also have uh, 110 outlets nice here in the back. An 8,000 uh, watt Onan quiet diesel generator. Again, you're running this off of your diesel tanks, which are uh, 250 gallon diesel tanks, so 100 gallons of diesel overall. And then you got a nice uh, countdown right here, as well as the ability to start. Um, and you, when, one of the things to understand is you want to hold this in and get yourself to the red light. And then when your red light's on, that means you're ready to start your generator. So let it warm up first. Um, Say that again. Yes, prime your generator, says my camera lady. I love having Cherish around. Okay, I'm not putting these in because we already have a beauty shot on the other side and I've shown you how that works. But I do want to talk to you about this. So you've got your exhaust pipes here. Uh, speaking from experience, they're only about five or $600 to replace if you decide to drive them into rocks. They come right off of the tips. It's really easy. It's not like a whole big thing. It's, it's pretty small. Sorry, honey. Um, okay, so look at this. So how, how BA is this? Look at this. This is all engraved. You've got your black tank dump, your gray tank dump, city water tank fill, your low point drain. You'll never have to worry about any of this. You can see everything because it's engraved in here. It's never going anywhere. Your power hose, uh, power water hose is in here. And then a nice place to store your black water hose. And then this bad boy goes right here. That's your whole house water filter. Needless to say, we're not using that until after we take out all of the green stuff. Um, gray and black water tanks right here underneath. Again, covers to keep everything clean. One of the things that's nice about this is it's not carpet lined. You can just wash, wash this out with a hose. So super, super cool. Uh, on the LE, you also get three slides, so a little extra room on the inside. And then take a look. Another. This is a treat because we all know it's party in the front, business in the back. We don't typically get a lot of storage on this side, but right here underneath your Jaboni inverter, you've got a really big 3000 watt Jaboni inverter that's to take on all the power of those lithium ion battery packs. You've got another 53 inch wide storage bay. Super, super luxurious to have this extra space. And another, um, it's about 27 inches deep right there. So, I'm not going to measure this door because it's going to be about 52 inches wide. Look at them. Woo! That is, oh, look at that. The game changer 3.0. Take a look at the side of that battery, Cherish. There they are. That is the game changer. So this is going to be about an $8,500 upgrade to get into all three of these lithium ion batteries. The two battery upgrade is about 8,500 bucks. It's about $4,000 for the first one. So be prepared to pull out your checkbook, but keep in mind, they've got a really nice warranty on them. They last a long time and they're going to make camping for you really, really luxurious. So we love that. Um, okay. We've got a six gallon def tank right here next to our other fueling station. Plug yourself in if you need to keep your engine block warm on a cold day. Look at this beautiful chrome convex mirror. Uh, this is my best friend. This is the one that tells me I'm going to get my target. No, I'm just kidding. I'm not running over anybody. I was just, uh, this is my side mirror. So these little guys on the side, of course, are going to turn on left and right when you're using that Garmin system. And then this is a reason uh, to consider a super C en engine accessibility. Look at the marriage of this engine. So this beautiful red, uh, this beautiful red engine block is your Cummins. Everything in black is your Freightliner. 
Right down here are your jump points. And then you can see you have all of your fluids very easily accessible. You have your water separator and fuel separator right there. Take a look at the construction of this thing. I mean, this is a semi truck. So, so incredibly cool. Um, and again, we talked about this a little bit, but we have this grill. But before I show it to you, I want to show you the other side. One of the things that's important to me is how do I change my windshield washer fluid? It's right here. Super simple. You pull up to a fueling station, no problem whatsoever. And then let's go ahead and take, it this, take a look at this caliber nine grill. And so you'll see these shocks are really nice. Nice, soft clothes, easy to operate. There's your C9 Caliber 9 grill. Super, super awesome. Great looking. And then today, before we leave, we want to take a look inside of this cab. Now, we do have our windows, or our curtain open. So I'm going to show you how easy that is to, to adjust and snap it. Pull it off to the side. We are locked and loaded. Time to get going, dear. Um, when you get in this bad boy, we have some nice features here. First of all, number one most important feature, heated seats. Now we looked at the house control to turn off the house that was in the step well. This is to turn off your chassis. Really easy to get to, you'll never forget. This is to adjust your steering wheel up and down, make it easy to get in. And as you'll notice, that is telescopic. So we like that. Um, the Garmin nav system has, again, rear view camera, backup camera, left and right. This little bad boy here is going to be your brake controller, so this is going to allow you to control your brake. You'll see this says Wabco. This is your this is your driver's assist, so this is going to be what allows you to um, follow a vehicle in front of you and set your stopping distance so that you can be on cruise control without having to operate your brakes. Really, really nice. Power windows, power locks, uh, definitely a high and low engine brake. Only two settings for those that of you that are going to ask me that question later. Uh, you do have fog lamps. Uh, you do have heated mirrors, dual zone climate control, and lane tracking package. Also, you always have to have two toots, right? Um, but yeah, so great air horn, Allison transmission. Um, again, just lots of power, easy to drive, beautiful, beautiful machine. Um, for those of you that have never driven a Super C, we have a lot of inventory. We are a fantastic place to shop. We have Newmar, we have Renegade, and we have Winnebago. We carry the Super C's, uh, like the Superstars, the Supreme Airs. We carry all of the Icons. We have the XLs. We have the, the Renegade Verona, the Verona LE. Uh, we have so many different offerings here at our store. We are blessed that we get to carry the full line of all of these vehicles, all the high-end stuff. Uh, we're right in the middle of Colorado. Uh, we're really close to DIA. Um, it's only about 20, 25 minutes. I cannot tell you how many coaches I sold out of state last year to people who flew in, test drove, put a deposit down, and then came out and picked up their brand new Renegade right in the middle of the Rocky Mountains where they could start camping and then go back home so they didn't have to drive to get to the Rocky Mountains. So for those of you that are in the market, please, we love to make these dreams come true. Uh, my name is Katie O'Neill. I'm at 303-562-8659. Again, 303-562-8659. Um, I just picked up my own Superstar. I just traded in my Renegade. They're both fantastic vehicles, but if you've got questions and want to know a little bit about each one, I would be happy to give you some information. So please, look me up and uh, get out there and go camping.